Hey, hey guys, doing this Tino with LAPC Networking, and today I have this Asus computer that I'm gonna take apart for a customer. And this one is the actual, let me see if I can show you here, the AS uh, G28J. All right, what you're gonna do, you're gonna flip the computer. I'm gonna give the phone to Carlos. So the computer normally is, is facing down like this. So you're gonna see that you have your your actual USBs on the top, I mean on the bottom, and the CD drive on the top. So you're gonna flip it, put it facing down, and then you're gonna take off this screw. This is the only screw visible on this part, and you're gonna lift this stick, the sticker a little bit. I already heat it up just to lift it like that. So we're gonna do that really quick. We're gonna take off this screw. We're gonna put it on the side and then you have another um, little area also I don't know if you see this little gap over here this you see there are the USBs here so it's gonna be on the size of the USBs this you're gonna get a little spatula and you're gonna lift it it has some clips so you don't worry about it just pick it up and then in here, you're gonna have one more screw on this area. So we're gonna remove that screw. We're gonna remove the screw. So you have two screws there the same size, so no worries about that. Um, and now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it sideways, facing down. Right here. So, if you look, the actual USBs, they're facing you, and the bottom part is here. So you're gonna get the top and push it like this. You see how this area stick up a little bit? So you see how this moves? So that, it will allow you to remove the panel. Just do it really careful, because you have two connectors here, okay? So we're gonna remove one connector and then we're gonna remove the other connector and you can put this on the side so after here uh, it has this so that you can put a, like another um, SSD drive or anything like that for this computer what we're gonna do we're gonna be uh, changing the actual um, mechanical drive and we're gonna put an SSD so um, now what we're gonna do we're gonna take off this screw, this screw on the top. So it's one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven screws. If you wanna clean your fans, you need to take these ones off. Um, and also to be able to lift this. So I'm gonna take it off really quick. So these screws are also the same size, but they are smaller than the ones from the outside, okay? So once when we take off those screws, it's this metal attached. Also, you need to take off this screw right here for the plastic frame that goes by the USBs. I'll take this uh So this one goes like this. And we're gonna take this on the side here too. I don't know if you see it. Uh, And then over here, um, so remember you take this screw on the bottom. So now we're gonna take this one on the top here. Now we're gonna put it here and we're gonna remove this plastic, just pull it out like this. Okay, so from there, now you should have a space 
to um, leave this connector. Um, also, let me show you right here. This is the bottom of the computer. You have one more screw on the side right here. Um, and this screw is gonna be to remove the graphics card. So I'm gonna take this one. Off. This is a different screw than the other ones. So now we should be able to take off the actual graphics card from the side. Here you go. So you just lift it from the back, from the connectors, and you're gonna put it sideways because the cable is in here. So if you want, you can disconnect it from here or you can put it on the side. Just make sure that you press this little tag so you can take it off right there. And we have the hard drive here. All right. So we're gonna remove the hard drive. We're gonna put an SSD. This two, this one is the actual connector for the hard drive you see on this side. And let me get the SSD and I'll show you right now. Okay, this is the SSD that we're gonna put and we might put this adapter. I'm gonna see how it fits, if I can fit it without the adapter. And if it's not, this adapter is to put the SSD inside and it give you the big size like this one. Uh, just to let you know, before you take uh, anything apart here, you have this little tape, black tape. So we're gonna lift this. You have a little tag. Uh, this tag, you just lift it up with the nail and just pull the cable back. And you see this screw on the bottom? We're gonna remove that screw, okay? So let's remove that screw. So this screw has a different size. Um, so once that we remove it, let me put this on the side because this is from another device. So once that we remove it, you're gonna press this hard drive to the front. So remember, the USBs and all the connectors, they are right here on the back. So we're gonna press it towards the actual screw. You hear that click? And then you're gonna, you're gonna lift it. And you can disconnect the back plug. You just pull it back. One is for the power and the other one is for the data or the drive. So you see how we have this space over here? So now we're gonna remove these four screws and we're going to put the new drive with the new base in here This is only if you want to purchase the adapter, okay? If you don't want to purchase the adapter, you can get something different. So now we're gonna remove these four screws from the bottom on the drive. And then we're just gonna pull it out like this. So see how this connector goes on this side. So you're gonna do it the same way, connect it on this side and put the little four screws again. Okay, once you have the hard drive, we have it with the adapter, so it looks the same. We're gonna connect it on the drive. So this, you're not gonna make a mistake because the small size is gonna go on the small size and the big size, the big one, the big plug is gonna go on the bigger size. So once you put it, you're gonna make sure that your cable is behind like this. Put it down and then you're gonna press it a little bit and put it back. You hear the little click? Then we're gonna get our uh, screw, the screw that was holding the drive. We're gonna apply our screw there. So once we have our screw, we're gonna um, align the K 
cable. Make sure that the little tag is facing up. Then you push it down. We're gonna get our tape. This is a flexible tape, and this is only to keep the area secure. I told you a couple minutes ago to remove these screws. So this is in case if you wanna, if you, you can take this too, the RAM is right right here, right behind. In case if, you, if you're gonna upgrade the RAM, uh, you can do it through that. Or in case if you're gonna clean your fans and all that, you can do that too. Okay, so we have our hard drive connected. Now we're gonna get the actual uh, graphics card. We're gonna plug it in. So now, um, remember that the plugs are on this side. Try to align the cable the same way. Make sure that this doesn't get stuck on the metal here because if not, you're gonna break your graphics card. So I'm gonna do it like this. Let me see if I can push it back. This is gonna be a little tricky, so just take your time doing that. You don't wanna damage your car or anything like that, okay? Most likely you have to put it back a little bit first to insert the motherboard connector area of the car and then you push it to the side. So when do we have it there, everything should align properly for us to put the, the screw again. So first we're gonna start with the screw for the actual graphics card. So we're, I'm putting the screw right here. So we have the screw. Now we're gonna put the actual plastic back. And uh, this pla plastic, obviously you're not gonna make a mistake because the USB is there on the side. And you're gonna hear the little click. After that, you're gonna put the two screws over here. One goes right here on the at the top, and the other one goes in the side right here. Now you can put um, this screw back. And the other two from this side. Now, you also have to be careful, like uh, before I put the, the connectors over here when I disconnect it, because sometimes they go inside and then you can, you might forget about those. So just make sure that you leave it on the side right away when you take the computer apart. At the same time, when you take this computer apart, it's a good time to get your compressed air and just blow your graphics card and everything. And if you want to replace your paste, just to make it, uh, just to lower the temperature and everything in general. And that's the screw. So we pretty much already put all the screws on the top. Um, like if, like I told you, if you want to replace only the drive, you don't have to take this ones. I take it off because I was gonna open this to show you the RAM over here, but uh, we are short on time, so I just want to close it and show you. So after the you that the you done this, what we're gonna do? We're gonna get the panel. We're gonna put the little connectors on the panel. So these ones, they have a number, so you're not gonna make a mistake. So number one, you're gonna, obviously you're gonna plug it in with the number one. And the number two with the number two. So now they're connected. And, um, let me make sure that this pin is aligning here. So we're gonna make sure the cable is on the center again, if you see right here when you put it down okay so now 
So make sure they align. And then this is the area that before I have it facing, this is the area they have facing me. This, this one, it was the front. So you see the little gap on the top over here. Once you feel that everything seat, so now you can push it and it's locked over there. We're gonna put uh, the other screw on the bottom. Touch the sticker. We're gonna put the screw on the top. This is the breathing area. And then at the end, we're gonna get our plastic. Remember the plastic has the little cutout right here. So we're gonna put it just like that. And that's all set. So it's all nice and sealed. Everything is aligning properly. And so this is the way that you take the computer apart to uh, replace or upgrade your actual SSD from the regular uh, mechanical drive. So we're gonna do it right now and we're gonna put some um, Windows 10 for this customer, okay? So I hope you guys liked the video. Please comment and subscribe. And if you have anything in particular that you want me to uh, do, if I have the computer, I will do it.